Yeah, Kalina, so many businesses right now facing more rules and regulations than ever before. Now, the owner of Magusta Tacos and the local here in the district in Henderson says that's not all. They are taking punches left and right. We're in the ring right now and we're, we're losing. Magusta Tacos serves up modern Mexican food. Carnitas, barbacoa, and Korean galbi tacos are just a few menu options. Owner Chris Connors says they're taking a hit to keep those items on the menu. Meat processing plants around the country have shut down due to COVID-19, and less strip properties are buying specialty meat. We saw an uptick with our meat prices, a significant increase. Now he says he's seeing produce prices follow suit. Vegetable prices are about to reach an all time high for us. Meat prices an all time high um, and and 50% occupancy. You you mix those things up. I mean that that's that's hard. He suspects wildfires ravaging California may have something to do with it, specifically in Salinas Valley. In that region, it's it's called basically the salad bowl of the USA. I checked in with Christopher Valadez, president of the Grower Shipper Association of Central California, to see if that's the case. He says COVID-19 has already presented challenges for farmers, and wildfires in the region aren't making it easier. We had farming operations that were looking at changing their harvest schedules for about a day or so where they can reduce exposure to wildfire risk, meaning getting people or, or moving crews to an area that's not as impacted by smoke so they can harvest in a safer area. Valadez isn't sure if this production delay was enough to change prices, though. He says that could be another supply and demand issue. But it could have been you know, just what, what crops were available moving into that period of time. Either way, Connors doesn't want to see the cost passed on to customers. We increase our prices, what happens? We're probably going to alienate some customers, especially people who aren't working right now. That's the last thing we want to do as a business. So for now, he'll wait out the storm. It's a daily battle in the restaurant industry, but this, this is, this is crazy. So many Southern Nevada businesses get their produce and their food from Central California. Valadez says while the smoke and the ash has caused quite a problem for them, we should not expect any impact on our food quality. Reporting live, I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News.